If you made New Year goals or resolutions, then right about now, March or April, which is three to four months later, is an excellent time to review and reflect on how you're doing so far with your goals and if needed, adjust your goals. Hi, this is Supreet. I'm an engineer turned leadership trainer. I upload weekly videos about personal growth, self-help book summaries, and parenting. Maybe your goals were too hard and you need to tone them down a bit. Maybe they were too easy and having consistently executed on them for three months, you're ready to increase the duration, intensity, or level of challenge by just a little bit. Maybe you have realized that you have too many goals and you're getting overwhelmed, so you need to focus on only one of them right now until it becomes a habit. Comment below and tell me which of these options feels right for you. Now I will tell you how I am adjusting my new year goals, which I had shared with you in my 2021 vision board video. Three of my goals are going to stay the same. Waking up at 5 a.m., meditation and yoga. I have done pretty good on these thanks to my simple habit tracker. The habit tracker is key for me. If I did not track these goals every day, I would find myself making excuses and skipping them. I need to continue to track these three goals and keep them on my list of goals because they are still challenging for me and as you can see, I do skip them on some days. One goal that I was able to achieve on 100% of the days so far is journaling because to be honest, I find it the easiest to do. It literally takes me two minutes on most days and that's why it gets done. That is why now I have stopped putting journaling on my habit tracker. It's not a goal anymore because it has become a habit. One of my goals was to become 100% vegetarian as in no meat, but I would still allow myself eggs. I thought this would be easy to do because I was already about 95% vegetarian, but I'm realizing that going from 95% to 100% is harder than I thought. So I have changed this goal to be 99% vegetarian, which means about once a month or once in two months, I will allow myself a little bit of chicken or fish if it's in front of me and I'm really craving it. Interestingly enough, giving myself this freedom actually makes me crave it less. If I had told myself that I cannot have meat at all, I think I would feel deprived and hence break down at some point and still eat it. But the 99% vegetarian goal seems doable and not too restrictive for me. And I still get to achieve my why behind making this goal, which was to consume less meat and eat more vegetarian food. If you're getting value so far, hit the like button to support my channel. The second goal I'm adjusting is related to my YouTube channel. I had said that in 2021, I would create 30 videos and two online courses, but I have dropped the idea of creating the two online courses this year, as I have realized that I first need to build a larger audience. And to do that, I just need to continue to create more and more useful videos. So I will very likely end up creating more than 30 videos this year. I'm going to try my very best to produce one video a week, but I may skip a week here and there when I have other pressing priorities. So tell me in the comments below, how would you adjust your new year goals or would you keep them the same? See you in the next video. Keep growing.